What's going on everybody, it's your man Jay Will. I am back with another video. This time I have the full review for the Microsoft Lumia 640 XL. This is the LTE version, the dual SIM LTE version. Right now, you can pick this up online at Amazon, eBay, wherever you want to get it from. Uh, it should be launching on AT&T at the end of this month. I think it's going to be a hot item. The 640 launches on uh, Wednesday or Tuesday on T-Mobile, so be on the lookout for that. I might pick one of those up as well. So uh, this is my full review, and first I'm going to get this techie stuff out of the way for the people that feel that's important, and we're going to move to real-world testing that I did and how I feel about it. So first things first, it has a 5.7-inch display, because that's the first thing you see here when you pick up this phone, this huge display. Uh, comes in at uh, 720 by 1280, which gives it a pixel density of 259. Uh, it does have the clear black technology, so when you turn the screen off, it's just black, and it's got the glance feature, so you can see your time and your notifications down there as well. On the front of this device, though, I want to jump up here. It's a 5-megapixel camera that shoots 1080p, and on the rear, it's got a 13-megapixel with Carl Zeiss. I mean, it's uh, a pretty, uh, pretty nice camera, too. So, uh, jumping down to uh, the uh, battery, it's not uh, a pet peeve of mine that it doesn't have. Before I get to the battery, it's not dual band Wi-Fi, so that's a real deal breaker for me. I really like the 5 gigahertz band. I think it should be on all devices. Nonetheless, uh, jumping down to the battery, it's a 3,000 milliamp battery, and uh, the battery's good. We'll touch on that later. Uh, other than that, uh, it has an SD card slot. It comes with 8 gigs of storage. Um, it uh, only has about half, less than half of that available to you, but you do get an SD card slot. You can move things to the SD card slot. Or your applications, you can move things to your SD card, I meant to say. Ships with 8.1 Lumia Denim. It has a Snapdragon 400 in it, clocked at uh, 1.2, and it's a quad core. It says that it's running the Adrena 305. So, let's get into the uh, things that are important. Let's, think of, let's talk about this full review. So, the screen itself is a 5.7-inch display. This is a beautiful display. I mean, it, there's no getting around it. For it to be a 720p display, it's pretty sharp. And it's really impressive, and and I don't have any complaints about it. It some people have said that it was a little stretched out. Even I said it was stretched out. But after using it for a while, uh, you get the right background, the right picture. I just took a picture of this phone, as you can see there in the background. It's just a picture of this phone to kind of tone it down. I use the gray tiles or whatever, but it's it's still such a smooth display. It looks really really good. As far as the body goes, I have this um, just shiny version. Uh, the gloss. It also comes in matte and in, in, uh, some back covers. Uh, but the body of the device, you can see along the top here, there's uh, just a headphone jack. And on the back, you've got the Carl Zeiss 13 megapixel camera and the speakers up top right there. I'll touch on that later. And on the bottom, you've got the charge and sync port. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing on this side. Then you've got your power and volume rocker over here. And they went with black uh, volume rocker and power button opposed to the 635 Lumia having the white and some of the other devices where the color is uh, matched to the, to the device. Uh, the, the, the gloss version is kind of slippery at times, but it's okay. It won't, it won't hurt you at all. It, it looks really nice, though. Uh, the white version, you can see the fingerprints if you're trying to see them, but other than that, you probably can't, can't really tell. Um, body of the device, though, is pretty solid. Uh, it's lightweight. It weighs 171 grams, and it's, it's well-balanced, so when you're holding your hand, it doesn't feel like it's actually... Uh, as heavy as what it really is. It's actually 171 grams, so it doesn't it doesn't seem like it. This does pick up LTE in the US, by the way, too, but I'll touch on that with the call quality later on. As far as sound goes, uh, the speaker is on the back here, and it's it's not the loudest speaker, but if you're if you're not resting it on the table, you know, I can see why they put this design with it because you're not covering the speaker now. You're actually it's above your hand, so you can get a little bit better sound, but when you hold it like this, you know. It'll, it'll, it doesn't muffle, but it's just not a loud speaker. It's, it's good enough. When you plug the headphones in, I think you'll be impressed. So sound quality, eh, it's average at best, uh, but it's still doable. It's really good. The camera, on the other hand, is uh, one of the highlights, I think, for this phone. It comes with the Lumia camera, but the Microsoft camera is in the settings. So uh, let's take a picture of something that I always take a picture of just to test it out on camera here and see how it takes this picture. It's got a, a, a not the fastest shutter, uh, but it does have 
a nice time uh, on there. But remember, you can adjust this. The Nokia camera can be adjusted. So you can see the quality of the picture right there. I mean, it's not the best camera, but it is a nice camera. So um, nonetheless, it is there. But let me show you the settings real quick. It's got the manual mode where you can slide over and adjust, go into pro mode. It also has the lenses, just like um, the other cameras on the other Nokias. So it's it's uh, it's something um, that will uh, get the job done, to say the least. Same thing with the uh, video. You can adjust it and everything. But I think when it comes down to it, regular people, if you will, we don't really mess with that. We leave it on auto sometimes. And every now and we'll get in there and play with it. But it has to be something like a G4 for it to really produce some fantastic photos from my point of view. Now, the uh, the Lumia 1520 has a banging camera, and so does the 830. Those cameras are just flawless. This is kind of middle ground for some reason. It's, I actually like the, the camera on the, the 830 better. Um, and I leave that one in auto mode, too, and it takes better pictures than this one. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still a good camera. It's got Carl Zeiss. It's, it's getting the job done. Web browsing on here, uh, it says 4G up there, but it's actually uh, LTE. So um, let's show Android Spin some love. It's um, impressive to say the least. I mean, I'm over T-Mobile's uh, 4G LTE network, and um, it works. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, it's 2G on the bottom slot and 4G LTE on the top slot. Everything works like it should. It's, uh, it's good. I don't, I don't have any complaints. Uh, web browsing is, is smooth on here. Let me go to CNN. And just go to a different website. I'm doing this over the network, too. I'm not using Wi-Fi or anything. So you can see how the pages are going to render. They're going to, you know, it's just regular web browsing. So it's good to go. I don't think you'll be frustrated with the web browser on here. One thing about these buttons down here, I'll show you this shortcut. You can actually get rid of them. You just swipe up, and then they're gone. And you want to see, that way you can take advantage of all of the screen, except for that bar down there. But swipe up and they're back. So, and that's in any screen. As you can see, I can take them away on this screen. So it's flawless. It's, that's a good, that's a good move by them. Um, but um, with the packing, uh, with, with the packing of Snapdragon 400, putting that with Windows Phone, that's like a, a blessing in disguise because Windows Phone runs so smooth that, you know, you don't need much to power it, just like iOS. You can stay with dual core processors but this one has a, a quad core 1.2 snapdragon 400 so that's a pretty well known well trusted it's a tested processor you can put it pretty much on anything and it'll work but the thing is it works better with windows phone because of the windows phone operating system the way it's put together it, it's no lag in it like you would find on an android device so it's it's pretty good i, I can't say that it's it's not it's it's real hot so um call quality by the way um, no HD calls or anything that I, that I picked up, uh, but no drop calls either. It's a steady flow of uh, a strong signal. Up here, I'm getting two bars, but pretty much when I leave here, leave this office and go outside and go away or go to different parts of my house, uh, it's full signal. And uh, the call quality is right on par. This also, I used it with AT&T as well. And AT&T puts a H plus up there instead of a 4G, but same thing. It's Speeds were fast. Um, call quality was good on AT and T and T Mobile. It was it was good. I wasn't disappointed at all. Uh, it was hot. It was pretty good. Um, feature wise, you get the full Office suite um, as always. Now they they're giving away a free uh, 300, 365, but you can't claim it because if you have this phone on T Mobile, that is, it's going to tell you when you try to go in to claim your your free one year subscription of three sixty five that your carrier is not participating. So. That's kind of a bummer, but um, I knew that going in. I had already heard that going in, and uh, but still, you get your office suite. You get the full office suite, so that's cool. It's it's something. They give you something, so um, <clears throat> that's still good. Uh, but Microsoft is known for having nice uh, a nice uh, sync uh, with with their their suite from your PC to your phone. So that's a huge plus. Overall, though, I think the uh, last thing I want to tell you about is the battery. This is kind of kind of the complete package. If I if I don't focus on the camera, this is a good package. I would have liked the 1080p display, uh, but that's just a want. You don't really need it. And sunlight, this screen gets really really bright, and it is really nice outside. Um, but um, as, as far as a complete package goes, I would have probably added a 
camera key, that would have been nice, but they've been taking that away. So I would have liked the camera key. I probably would have liked white buttons instead. And the camera software with this, I, I don't know. It could you, Maybe I just didn't tweak it very much or do anything to it, but it, it was just good to me. The camera was just not mind-blowing, but it was good. It was, it was satisfactory. So um, overall, I feel about this. The battery on this thing, oh, yeah, last thing is the battery. The battery lasts all day, days, uh, depending on what kind of user you are. So if you're a user who's not a heavy user, you're going to get at least three or four days out of this thing because I'm a heavy user and I, I squeeze too. So that's how I know <clears throat> that you guys will, if you're not a heavy user, you're going to get solid battery life out of this. Heavy users and non-heavy users, techies, non-techies, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to get some fantastic battery life out of this thing. Um, and what I, what didn't I like about this? Well, I don't like the onboard storage. I pointed that out in another video in my first impressions video. I don't like the onboard storage because there isn't any. It was probably just 3.6 available, and that's it. I thought that was kind of depressing to have just such a small amount of memory available on such a nice device, man. Why are why are manufacturers still making devices that are less than 32? I just don't get it, man. Everybody now wants to put music directly on just in case they don't have a signal or just whatever. Um, it should be at least 32. 16, okay, is pushing it, but 32 should be the standard now. Anybody disagree with that? Shout out in the comments. But 8 gigs on here, and then you only get 3.8 available. That's just ridiculous. They, they, that's an insult. Well, that's what I didn't like about this device. I didn't like that it didn't come with a lot of onboard storage. And I know it can be solved with an SD card, but what if I didn't want to buy an SD card? What if I didn't have like 10 of them laying around? You know what I'm saying? So up up, up the storage on these devices. And that's not just for Microsoft. That's for all OEMs. Up the storage on them, man. It's, it's just, you're doing us wrong um, but, but by not putting at least 32 on there. So uh, I think that's the only thing I can probably find that I didn't like about it was just the, the camera was not good like I thought it was going to be, or not great, I should say. And then the onboard storage, and that's pretty much, after using this for a while, that's kind of where I lie with it, but uh, it's a great device, and I definitely would recommend it. I would price it at about 179 to 200 I wouldn't price it at the price I paid, but I don't know what AT&T is going to be selling it for, so we shall see in the future here at the end of this month of June 2015. The 640 does come out on T-Mobile on the 17th, I believe. Uh, by the time you watch this video, though, I don't know what date it's going to be, but it's actually June 14th right now. It's a little late in the evening at night. And uh, this is the Microsoft Lumia 640 XL. What do you guys think about this device? Is it one you want to pick up? Have you thought about it? Were you thinking about it? Um, what's your thoughts? It's your man, Jay Will. I will see you in the next one. Deuces. <laughs>
All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by. It's your man, Jay Will. I really appreciate you watching that video. Be sure to rate, subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video so I can continue to bring you great content, lots of different products, and everything that you might enjoy in technology. So, deuces, peace. I leave it out you. Ciao, bella. Sorry, Nara. I don't, I don't know how to say it in any other African or Chinese or anything. All right, holla.